Come along, yeah, time for classes. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And I am at Dingle Peninsula and I've been joined by two other photographers. Yaro to my right and Eddie, oh, Eddie to my left. Eddie is somebody actually that I featured on my channel as a photographer to look out for in one of the years gone by. What year was it, Eddie, when I featured you? Two years ago. Two years ago. If you haven't seen that episode, I'll link to it above here, but go check out Eddie's channel because he is the guy who's constantly up on all of these hills and mountains, and so is Yarrow. So today we're gonna to go for a massive hike along the coast, and we're not going too high, um, but we're going to an area here which is called the uh, Ryan's Daughter Schoolhouse, which was used in a movie. And unfortunately, it has been left to go to uh, decay. But you'll see it when we get there. But hopefully we get some nice light because it does look like it's going to be a nice sunset. There's great uh, mood. There's also rain that's happening as well in the distance. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get some nice light. So let's go. So, welcome to Ryan's Daughter Schoolhouse. This was built purposely for a movie, I don't know what year it was, 60s probably. Um, and as you can see now, it's been left to go to ruin. There's a challenge in relation to who owns it, who's gonna maintain it, so it's left in relation to this. It could be something that could be really, really nice. However, for me today, it's gonna to be something that's gonna be nice because I'm hoping to get a shot of the sun setting over this way, so directly behind you at the moment. So I'm gonna go up behind here and try and look down onto the house. But haven't shot it before, never brought you here. So I said, you know what, since we're here with the guys, we'll go for a quick walk, we'll see what we get. Maybe we'll get some sunlight, I'm not quite sure. Usual, the cloud that lives on the western horizon has come back to say hello. But hopefully we'll get some nice light in here, regardless, even if it does swallow it up. There are some high clouds, which hopefully we'll catch in as well. So yeah, we're gonna look around here. Once I find a composition, I'll talk you through what I'm thinking, and then we'll get the shot. Let's go. So I've come up here now to my first composition and if I swing you around here, what I've done is to put on Farmarov in the middle of the actual schoolhouse. When I first came up actually, I was over here um, and I might go back there again in a moment, but for now anyway, I wanted to have just that sitting in the middle of the uh, schoolhouse. And now as you can see here, we're getting some nice light rays that are coming through also. But because it's quite bright there and it's quite dark shooting at, into the sun, I'm gonna to have to bracket my exposures. So I'm gonna take one for the sky, uh, which will be one, uh, tw one twenty-fifth of a second F8 and ISO 100. And that way, when I take that shot, I've got all the detail in the sky. And then actually what I'll swing, I'll do is I'll swing you around and you can see here. Well, you can't, one moment. Try it this way. So yeah, that's better there. So that is the image for the sky. And then I'm going to brighten that up here by going for a longer exposure to get a bit more detail here in the foreground. So that's gonna be at 1 15th of a second, F8. I got my focus on manual, so I don't need to worry in relation to that. Two second timer, just to be able to make sure there's no shake. Now I've got the shot and you see the sky here is gonna be blown out. So I've got the shot here for the foreground and then the one before it for the sky. And then it's just a matter of blending the two of those um, together. So that will be my first image anyway from here. I hope that we get some nice light. I don't know, we may or may not, but yeah, we'll see how we go from there. Now 
that I've moved over to the left hand side what I'm able to do is put the sun directly above the schoolhouse and then have Far Marav on the left hand side but I'm also able to introduce down below here uh, some of the old school walls as well so you can kind of just make them out here and you've got the schoolhouse behind me but the sun now has gone into unfortunately my nemesis like I said from the outset that westerly bank of clouds but just before it did I said I'd try and get a sun star in the image so I set the camera to f16 and I've done the same thing again took a shot for the sky that's the one that's going to get me the sun star and it only works really when you've only got a small bit of the sun uh, just clipping the top of the clouds that enables you to be able to get that sun star and then get another shot as well for the foreground below me here I do kind of like this one actually I like the way that the walls and such like that is kind of taking more context into it but what I am missing is something of a leading line so I'm going to go have a look go have a play around here there is a wall that's down there. I might go down here and see if I can get that as well so that I can get the schoolhouse as well, break the horizon. So as it is right now, as you can see, it's just on the horizon and then the other one is just below the horizon and that's not exactly ideal. So I'm going to go down low here in a moment and then just use this wall and hopefully that can lead me out. Hopefully we get some nice colour in the sky above. As you can see here, you know, we've got these high clouds. They might catch who knows but above me as well or above uh, here behind me you've got the Blasket Islands and there's a lovely cloud that's uh, forming above that here as you can see so I might take a shot at that as well here while I'm at it or if I jump over this way I can get that behind as well so yeah next one's anyway here I'm going to scramble over this way now and see if I can get that with that um, shot with the cloud above the baskets give you a look at this check back in again in a moment So now you can see here behind me this lovely cloud that's over the Blasket Islands and I've moved over now to be able to have that above the ruin of the, um, the schoolhouse below me. And then I'm also utilizing as well, uh, if I can move this down and swing it around. So I'm um, using this wall as a leading line coming up uh, into the frame and then with that behind. I don't think I'm going to get anything in that sky. So if you look here, that's where the sun uh, is setting but all of the action is over here so that's why I moved to this side I think that's an important one as well is you know move around and find the position that works best for the conditions so for me here the sun is over there you think I should be shooting towards the sun but not because that's where the color is and the reason for it is that cloud is blocking all the light uh, again same here bracketing my shots one for the sky one for the foreground I probably don't need to do that um, because I'm not into anything highlights so there's nothing harsh in relation to the dynamic range but nonetheless I'm going to do it anyway just in case and that's another bit of advice as well is always take multitudes of shots take different exposures because if you need that detail for when you want to go back to process your image and you don't have it then you're going to be kicking yourself you haven't got a good image also as well I'm going to focus stack because I've got this wall directly in front of me uh, I am shooting at the moment at uh, f11 so I should have some good uh, dynamic rock, uh, depth of field I should say but nonetheless I'm going to take a shot as well for the wall just in case it's not focused so yeah here's this next one here now Now I've come down into the actual schoolhouse uh, itself and I'm at this entrance way here that we had the first scene when I would have arrived to it and what I like about it is that the wall is leading you out here and then you have this cloud that's uh, up here over here you have on far Marav and then coming out here I'm it's a bit of a gamble I'm not quite sure if it's going to work but what for me is the attraction is that uh, cloud at the very top um, 
from a light point of view, it would be great if I had some direct light shining in here. I think it would really lift the scene, if, even if I had the, uh, the sun. But looking at the horizon here, that cloud has won once more. So settings at the moment for this one is at f11. Um, and I'm taking two different exposures, one for the uh, sky, one for the area here, which is quite dark. Uh, I don't think I'm actually going to need it for here um, because I'm shooting over this direction. No, the sky isn't overly bright. But again, as always, I'm just having it and taking it just in case I need it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next from composition. Uh, Yarrow is up this way behind me with Eddie. So I might go up to them and see if I can steal their composition. But who knows, I might find it. it might have a better composition than me. Probably Yarrow is a phenomenally talented photographer. So yeah, his um, work is on display on a website called Kerry Views. He's got a store as well in Dingle. And if you ever want to look at some awe-inspiring images for inspiration for this entire area, check out uh, Kerry Views. Dot .ie or dot .com, I think it's dot .ie. I'll leave a link in it below. But yeah, Yarrow, phenomenal and a really nice guy as well. So yeah, here's the next one anyway here. We'll go up to them now and see if we can steal composition or two. <laughs> So it's actually very handy having, uh, not only having Yarrow here because I can come up and steal his composition, but also having Eddie here because he was able to film some B-roll as well of me. I think, you know, everybody should have an Eddie to come with them because it'd be really fantastic. So thanks Eddie for that. So I'm up here now and as I predicted, Yarrow has a good composition, but I've had to do a small bit of real finagling to get it right because right behind me here, uh, I want to make sure that the uh, schoolhouse is having separation. So. On the edging of it over here, I want to make sure that's just touching the edge of uh, the blaskets. And then the chimney stack as well, is I want that to frame the other side of the blaskets. So um, if you get that wrong, then effectively you got one cutting into the other, but I want to have full separation in relation to that. Uh, I don't need now to bracket anymore. I think I should be okay. And um, that cloud as well, that's above here. It's kind of dissipating, but you can see there's a bit of color uh, behind me. So, you know, we still have the fingers and toes crossed that we get a blush and uh, the sun is about to set. But above me here, if I can look this way, you see that that should catch as well. But yeah, definitely interesting. And yeah, I don't mind saying I stole Yarrow's uh, composition because he's a phenomenal photographer, like I said many, many times on this channel. So yeah, here's my next shot here. And then we'll see, do we get the light in the end of the day? Right, so looks like we are getting a nice blush of colour in the sky and I'm glad actually that we decided to come over here. We were originally considering going over here to see Dunmore Head, um, but if we'd gotten Dunmore Head I don't think it would have been very good because we'd be looking out into that real bright area. As it stands right now we got this bit of colour and it is above where we're composing the shots as well. So I'm happy in relation to that. Changing my settings again, um, because the light now is fading, but I've still got that color in the sky. And it's nice, but a reflected light. You can probably see it on me as well at the moment. So hopefully this uh, image will uh, turn out. I'm going to finish up this episode here, I think. I don't think I'm going to get much more color than where we have um, right now. So thank you very much, as always, for joining and for watching the episode. If you haven't seen uh, Eddie, check out Eddie's channel. And I've already said the details in relation to Yarrow. Go check out their work.
So join me next Wednesday when I do my Behind the Raw and I'll pick one of the images from here and I'll talk you through in regards to my edit, what I like, what I don't like, and my workflow and how I would process my files. So thank you very much as always for joining. See you the next time. Shalom Gafol.